Good day. This is Ward Harriman, 8E6TY. This is a quick video which introduces a new feature which I call DG8SAQ Connect. This is, of course, a connection between SimSmith and the popular VNWA analyzer. And I'm going to be running both SimSmith and the VNWA software on a PC, but it is possible to do this over the net where one can run the VNWA software on one machine and can run SimSmith on another. The first thing when doing this is to, you need to bring up VNWA in a way that allows other programs to connect to it. This is a feature documented in the uh, documentation and it's called the remote access or remote control. I forget exactly what it is, but the only real difference is you need to bring up VNWA with a couple of switches. So I've modified my normal shortcut and added what you can see here, which is basically dash TCP IP 55555 with a dash debug after it. Now this 55555 can be any port that is otherwise unused in your TCP for your PC. This is the number I think the documentation used as an example, and so I adopted it. If I double click now on VNWA, you'll see this new window here, which has the line in it that the TCP IP server has started. I have already gone through and set up the sweep settings and the uh, frequency range. And I have also calibrated this machine already. Under normal circumstances, you will have to set up the frequency range and the calibration using the VNWA software. Uh, DG8SAQ Connect has not yet implemented those features. The main point of the Connect software from SimSmith's perspective is to allow you to capture the sweeps, import them into SimSmith, and save them away. Now let's bring up SimSmith. Uh, new features. Try to get this all on one screen. To connect SimSmith to the VNWA software, you would go to view and click on DG8 SAQ connect. That gives you this little window. And you can of course resize this window to, to be whatever's convenient. And you'll see up here that the VNWA software says that it's been connected. Helen 2 is the name of my machine. And you will see that SimSmith asked about the hardware. And in doing all that, SimSmith made the connection. You'll see here where it says it's connected for commands and it's ready to accept the data. I want to change the file name that I'm going to use to record things and I'm going to make it dg8saq.s1p. All files have to be either S1P or S2P files, and it's simple enough to change. So here we have this ready to go, and the point of this technology is to allow you to run a scan in the VNWA software and get the information uploaded into SimSmith. So in this case, I'm going to say I want to listen for a sweep and I want to do it one time and I'm going to say go. Up here in the VNWA software, I'm going to say a single sweep. And now 
this file has been written and I want to use it. And there it is. And I want to use it for the sweep. I'm going to get rid of this one. Control click on that makes it go away. So you can see the two Smith charts look the same. That's good news. If I want to download a different file, of course, I could name this differently. If I want to reload this file, I can say go. And I'm going to reach over. I'm actually testing antenna. I'm going to reach over and hold on to that antenna while I hit the sweep. And we'll get a different sweep. And what has happened here is the VNWA software has run the sweep. The Connect software has captured that data and written it in there. And SimSmith has noticed that this file, which was being used right here, has changed. And I can say reload and I get the new display. Now, a, another feature that might be useful is I can say, instead of just listening for a sweep, I can initiate a sweep. So I clicked on this, this toggles back and forth. I say initiate and I say go. I'm not gonna hold on to the antenna, so we'll get a different plot. And Sim Smith again noticed that that file got written. This gets annoying and you'll notice over here, I can do an always reload. And so from now on, SimSmith won't ask me. It will just notice that it's changed and update it. So I'm going to go up and touch the antenna again while I click on the Go button. And you might have noticed the sweep took place. The VNWA software updated the data. Connect, saw it, downloaded it, and SimSmith now displays it. There are times when you'd like to be able to uh, keep the sweep running, um, sometimes in real time. So if I go over here and instead of saying once, I say continuous and I say go, you'll see that SimSmith is asking the VNWA software to make a sweep, download the data, display it, and then it asks for another sweep. So I'm going to walk over to the antenna and touch it again. Let go. And I'm going to stop it. Okay, so the other thing you can do here is if I say just listen, continuously. I'm going to say go. And now I can come up here and turn the on and off continuous tracing using this button. And now I'm going to stop it. stop it up there. So when you're all done with this, if you go up here and close out this window, you'll see up here a message that says that Helen 2 has disconnected from port 55555. So there you have basic operation of DG8 SAQ Connect. It's the first step. I want to do more. It's a little flaky and it's a little uh, fragile. So not everything works quite the way you would want. Uh, if you're interested in working with it, it, it'll be in the next release. I could get, get you a beta of the next release. But it's important that you be patient with it. It's, it's not all my software and there are some idiosyncrasies when talking back and forth over the net and when talking to somebody else's software. So a little forbearance and uh, you can capture and control the sweep from your DG8 SAQ VNWA. 
Oh, one last thing. There's a small amount of documentation on this feature. Uh, help, less used manuals. And here's a quick description. It's, it's not very long because there's not a lot of function. Thanks for watching and thanks for using SimSmith.